When you're working in Illustrator, you're going to want to zoom in and out quite often. Sometimes you're going to be working on a very small part of your layout and you want to zoom in so you can really see what you're doing. Other times you're going to want to see the entire document so you can see how all of the elements are relating to each other. There's several different ways to zoom in and out with an Illustrator. Um, let me start by showing you the ones under the View menu. So if I select from the View menu and pull down, you'll see this area right here are all the zoom tools. Uh, the top one here is Zoom In, meaning if I select it, it will magnify the view, it will zoom in closer. Zoom Out, of course, is the opposite of that. It'll make it smaller. Uh, fit Artboard and Window, this is one of my very favorites because no matter how big or small you're zoomed in or out to, you can always choose this and it will immediately fill the screen showing your whole page. There is another one under that which is related called Fit All in Window and this really only comes into play if you have multiple artboards, which I happen to have. No and so I'm going to select that and immediately you will see all four of my artboards. So this allows me to easily navigate from page to page. Now the last one under here is actually the one I use the least, but that just will return your window to actual size, 100%. So that's how I use the menu. Uh, I don't like using menus very much because it's kind of a slow way to work, but while you're learning, that's fine. But probably sooner than later, you will want to start using keystrokes for this stuff because you're going to be doing it a lot. So you'll notice the keystrokes for zoom in and zoom out our command or control on a PC plus and minus and so let me just close this window and I am now holding the command key and I'm gonna click the plus sign and that will zoom in okay same thing still holding the command key down but this time I'm going to click the minus key and so you'll see it's very quick and easy to zoom in and out using the keystrokes and whatever is currently in the middle of the screen when you do that will stay in the middle of the screen. Uh, you'll see under here also are other keystrokes for these other commands. The Fit Artboard and Window, my favorite, is Command Zero. Now, as long as I'm talking about this stuff, uh, there is a great page in the Adobe website where it's just a long scrolling page that shows you all of the keyboard shortcuts, sometimes also known as hotkeys, that you can do all of this different functions with. So check this out when you feel like it, and it's a great reference. Okay, so the next method for zooming in and out is using the zoom tool. And so that is this guy right here. If I'm in, the, I'm in the tools window, at the very bottom right corner is the zoom tool. Now you'll notice when I hover over that, it drops this little hint that tells you what the tool is. And it also has a letter in there. In this case, it's the Z. And so right now you'll notice I have my arrow tool, but all I'm gonna do is hit the Z key and you will see that it changes into the magnifying glass or the zoom tool. So what's nice about this is wherever I click is where it will enlarge. If I would like to reduce, then I hold the Option key. This would be an Alt key on a PC. And that will change the magnifier to a minus, and meaning that when you click, it will reduce the view. So that's one way to zoom in and out. Here's my favorite. And this, it may work a little differently depending on the type of processor your computer has. But if I click and hold, it will just zoom in automatically. So if I hold the minus key when I do this, you'll see it will zoom back out. Another way to do it is to click and hold and drag. And if you drag down at a 45 degree angle, it will enlarge your view. If you drag up at a 45 degree angle, then it will reduce the view. Now, some of you who don't have the same type of processors that I do on my computer, you might have to draw a box around the area you want to enlarge, and then it will take it and fill the screen with that. But using the zoom tool is, is really great, and it allows you to be very specific. So I tend to use command plus minus a lot, but I also use the zoom tool a lot as well. So say I wanted to zoom in on this, but I didn't want to change tools. That's a pain. Ouch! Um, well, if I hold down the command key, um, control key on a PC, in addition to the space bar, you'll notice that my zoom tool shows up. And then I can do all the things I can do with a zoom tool without having to change out of here. 
And you'll also see what's pretty impressive about Illustrator is that you can zoom in up to 64,000%. <gasps> oh my God.